I am going to tell you everything you need to know about linked lists, kind of. Linked lists organize elements in a linear order. Unlike arrays, elements in a linked list are not placed continuously in memory. Instead, each element or node of a linked list contains two parts. The first is data. This represents the value of a node. The data can be of any type, such as an integer, string, or complex object. The next is a pointer. This is a reference to the next node in the sequence. In a singly linked list, each node points to the next node. In a doubly linked list, each node also has a pointer to the previous node. Why use a linked list? Well, you have dynamic sizing, efficient insertion and deletion, flexible memory, and they serve the basis of other complex data structures like stacks and queues. There are three types of linked lists. Singly linked lists, where each node points to the next node, and the last node points to a null, making the end of a list. Doubly linked lists, where each node has two links, one to the next node and another to the previous node. And circular linked lists, where the last node points back to the first node, forming a circle. Okay, so what needs to be included in the code of a linked list? You're going to need a node class slash structure to represent the elements of a list, and insertion, deletion, and traversal methods to manipulate and access the list, a head pointer to keep track of the start of a list, the tail pointer, which is optional, but it's efficient to access the list's end. Also another optional is a size counter to keep track of the number of elements. Let's analyze the pseudocode it would take to code these operations. First, let's search. If the list is empty, return not found. Start from the head and traverse the list until you find the value v. If v is not found, return not found, otherwise return the index of v. Next, let's insert at the end. Create a new vertex with the value v. Append the vertex to the end of the list, which will be the tail. Update the tail to point to the vertex. Now, let's remove an element. If you want to remove the last element, start by checking if the list is empty. Otherwise, initialize pre at the head and temp at the second element. Traverse until temp is the last element and remove temp and update tail to pre. But what if we want to insert at any position? First, we have to initialize pre at the head, traverse until you get to the i minus one position, create a new vertex with the value v, and insert the vertex between pre and its next element. Now, if you want to remove an element at any position, first check if the list is empty, otherwise initial pre at the head, traverse until you get to the i minus one position, remove the ith element by bypassing it to the link, connect pre to the next of its next element. Then you delete the ith element. You can see that all of the operations kind of follow the same pseudocode, but that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to know about a singly linked list.